We return once again then to the home of British motorsport and the birthplace of the Formula One World Championship. It's race day here at Silverstone and it's time for the British Grand Prix. The 3.6 mile long Silverstone circuit is one of the longest of the season with 18 corners in the current layout. With average lap speeds reaching around 145 miles per hour, it's also one of the quickest tracks of the year. Watch out for cars taking the right-handers of Abbey and Cops flat out. Joining me for today's race once again is Anthony Davidson. Let's have a chat about McLaren. What do you make of their performance so far this season? Well, the atmosphere within that team seems very positive at the moment. Everyone seems like they're in great spirits and having a lot of fun doing what they do. And that's definitely contributed to the performances we've seen. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Good job yesterday from Valtteri Bottas. The fence starts from pole position and Lewis Hamilton completes the front row. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Leclerc, Norris, Max Verstappen and Perez, Ricardo, Sainz, the owner driver and Sebastian Vettel, Gasly, Sonoda, Lance Stroll, and Fernando Alonso, Ocon, Raikkonen, Antonio Giovinazzi, and Daniel Tictum, Mazepin, Russell, Mick Schumacher, and Nicholas Latifi. And now it's time to head down to the track. Well, they've done a brilliant job, I must say, under some intense pressure to take a well-earned victory here at the British Grand Prix. Anthony, tell me, what was it that helped them achieve this success? Well, they certainly stood out as a driver with tons of confidence on the track. I think their ability to keep their cool, even during some of the more hectic parts of the race, meant they were able to capitalise on the mistakes of other drivers, giving them the opportunity to make their way to the top spot with ease. So after a magnificent race, we can now see the drivers making their way to the podium. Once again, it's the Silver Arrows who take top spot, a well-earned victory for Mercedes.
So let's review the updated driver's standings. It's a great result for Lewis Hamilton, who moves further ahead at the top of the table. Some amazing talent out on the track today, but Anthony, who would you pick as your driver of the day? I'm going to give it to the owner driver today. They did a great job at getting the most out of their tyres without losing pace, something that's a very handy skill to have in modern day Formula One. It's time to check out the constructor's standings. Mercedes continue to extend their lead. Well, Ant, an end to another fantastic weekend of racing. Thanks to everyone who joined us, and we'll see you for the next one. The fans really seem to enjoy that. You made it look easy. Things look close between you and your rival for a bit, but you came out on top, didn't you? You're surpassing all expectations. Can anything or anyone stop you? Great. Well, that's everything. I know we were expecting some new developments to come through, but some of them have failed quality control. We'll need to tell the team what to redevelop via the R&D screen. Looks like our driver has an issue. We need you to step in here. The department wants me to pass on their thanks for helping out. You're not currently in a rivalry. Sooner or later, you'll probably be asked by the media who you consider to be your rival. Think carefully who you select, as while you will receive acclaim for beating them, you'll lose acclaim if you fail to do so.